Yeah, for Herman, it's all tied to fastball command. He struggled with it this year. And when he's able to lock it in, he's been really, really good. He's got to have the fastball to command, though, so that he can spin that curveball and use the slider off of that. Whit Merrifield jumps on it right away. That ball out to center field, and Daza will make the catch, getting his second consecutive start. So two down here in the first inning. The guy at the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. And he thought about it, and they're going to go to the third base umpire and Jerry Mills, and the crew chief calls him out. So Herman with one strikeout, one walk, and a runner stranded at second. Carlos Hernandez takes the mound for his sixth start with a high ERA, 7.15, and just 10 strikeouts in 22 and two-thirds innings. Four straight balls to Connor Joe, and that'll put a runner on for Charlie Blackman. And Charlie hammers this out to right center field. It's going to head on out of here, and it's time for Charlie Blackman to fire up the fountains. Fifth homer of the year for Charlie Blackman, and the Rockies score first in game two against the Royals, two to nothing. Here's a good curveball that swung on and missed and struck him out. So he gets the first out, and he gets a hot hitter, C.J. Crone. So a two-out single will allow Iglesias to come up. Iglesias hits it to right field. Dozier is there. And that's the inning. So Charlie Blackman hits a two-run home run, and the Royals come up in the second inning, down 2-0. Hunter Dozier, one of the heroes in last night's game for the Royals, will lead off this top of the second inning. And this ball on the ground. McMahon charging to it. He's going to barehand it, and he gets him. That's the Ryan McMahon glove we know. I think when you watch Mac. He's indecisive at first about, am I going to glove it or barehand it? He sees Dozier getting out of the box, knows he has to barehand it. Watch the eyes trick, track that ball all the way in. Doesn't even need to adjust for the grip. Left-handed hitter, MJ Melendez is the hitter. One, two. Swing and a miss. He got him. Came back with a slider to get his second punch out in the early going. First and third, nobody out. Dom Nunez now at the plate. Hurt then, and Nunez setting this one out to center field. Taylor got a late jump, ball coming home, but Hilliard's speed going to beat the throw. Nunez bringing in a run on a sacrifice fly. Three to nothing, Rocks. Here is Blackman, who hit the home run. And he'll lift this one to center field. And Taylor is there. So the leadoff walk turns into a run, and at the end of two, Colorado leads 3 0. Michael A. Taylor, third base with now one out, and the batter will be Whit Merrifield. And Whit's going to drop one into shallow center field, and that'll get the run home. So he avoids the strikeout and gets it to the outfield. And Taylor's leadoff triple results in the Royals' first run tonight. Whit Merrifield, he's at third with two down, and Salvi stands in. Salvi's hit at three straight games, 0 for 1 tonight. Well hit. Deep right center field, and gone! Salvador Perez homers for the first time in 19 games. And that is a Royals record, 29 interleague home runs. Boy, was that beautiful. The pitch to McMahon he is ripped into center field. That's going to be a base hit. Crone will stop at second base. Boy, good swing by Ryan McMahon. A pitch over the plate and down. He went down and got it. I did not even catch that. Yeah. Did you ever lick your bat? If I fouled the ball off, you could smell the leather. So I would always smell it. I loved it. One down, runners at first and third. Jose Iglesias coming up. That ball hit up the middle, and it's going to get through. So run coming home, and the Rockies up 4-3. to three. Here's now Sam Hilliard. Drew a walk his first time up. That led off the second inning, and he scored eventually. Hilliard hits it a long way to right field. It's got a chance, and it is gone! A shot to right by Sam Hilliard. That's a three-run home run. Second this year for Hilliard. And the Rockies break out here in the third inning. One down in the Kansas City fourth inning. Pitch 2-2, swing, and a miss. Came back with a breaking ball. That's strikeout number three for Hermann. That ball's on the ground. Brendan Rodgers to C.J. Crone, and the Rockies with another clean inning. Taylor, then Nicky Lopez, the shortstop, and Whit Merrifield. And on command. There's some confidence right there. Michael A. Taylor going down. Two down for Whit Merrifield. And Marquez gets it. 
So two strikeouts this inning, five in the game, and the Royals go down in order. Bottom of the fifth. Brendan has singled and hit into a fielder's choice. That allowed him to right center field. And it's going to be extra base hits once again for Brendan Rodgers. Run coming home, and Ryan McMahon is safe standing up. RBI double, Brendan Rodgers in another multi-hit game in the month of May. So it's a quality out for Iglesias to advance the runner with one out. Fires the first pitch from Bolaños, and that's out to center field. It's going to be a sacrifice fly as Brendan Rodgers gets right on in safe. Sam Hilliard with his fourth RBI of the night on the sacrifice fly. Here's Salvador Perez. Marquez sticking with the about against Perez and gets him that time. Perez had the home run earlier in the third, and Marquis striking him out here in the sixth. Here's pitch 90 for Herman. Right back at him under his glove. He'll let Iglesias handle it on the right side, and that'll do it. Bobby Witt Jr. next here. Junior hits a line drive into deep left field, and that is gone. That's his first hit. The Royals' fourth hit, second home run, and that's Junior's second of the year. It is 9-4. And the Rockies start with Ryan McMahon. Same relief guy, the right-hander, Robert Bolaños. McMahon, oh. a blast. Forget about Out it. Out to right field. See you later. Right back. season for Ryan McMahon and he's adding to the list today and Bobby Wood Jr. who hit a home run over the 390 marker in left field in the seventh inning we'll get another at bat runner goes ball on the ground and that's gonna do it for the Rockies a 4-3 to end it and a clean ball game the defense on point today and the home runs a plenty